Oops, sorry, dropped a card. Good morning, Leo. This is going to be your video. I apologize in advance for the background noise. I live in the noisiest small town in America. And if I don't get started real early in the morning, there's always something going on. I apologize. No way around it. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Leo. Too many. They are being quirky today. A rune. And this one jumped out. Alright. Let's go ahead and get started. I have got the Seven of Swords. And this is two people mad sitting on other sides of the bed. This is my Sex Magic Tarot deck, by the way. So it looks like there has been some kind of conflict, disagreement. Um, to clarify that card, we have great fortune. So um, maybe this has to do um, with money, maybe over how to spend money. Um, because it looks like, you know, money is not an issue for you right now. Um, you are manifesting plenty of money and maybe even... Um, a large amount maybe someone finally got their taxes or stimulus payment um, this feels like a karmic connection and I hate using the term karmic because it it takes away from that person as a person that karmic partner because they do serve a purpose and they have came into your life for a reason so they do have value um, a karmic connection isn't um, less than, you know, like a divine soulmate or twin flame. Um, but karmic connections, um, you know a karmic connection because it's very strong, it's very addictive, it's like a roller coaster ride of, of emotions. Um, you never can find common ground with this person. Um, there's always a lot of conflict. So I'm going to continue here. We have got the Two of Pentacles. And yes, there's there's this energy of, you know, like possibly this person being, you know, feeling very much like an energy vampire and like somebody who just kind of sucks you dry energetically. Um, and, and that is a, but you know, we got to look at ourselves too, because the times that I thought this, I was like, oh yeah. People are a mirror of us and you know we never want to check in with our own energy because it's 
we deflect instead. You know, it's really hard for people to check in with themselves, um, but check in in any way, shape, or form that you might have these qualities, these traits as well um, in any way, area of your life. Maybe it's just with your family or with, with people you work with, um, but definitely check in. But, you know, there's this... <sighs> What's this energy of like going behind your back to um, maybe with, you know, sex or with money, um, spent money wasn't supposed to be spent or on things that wasn't supposed to be spent on. We have the world card. And basically... Um, I'm going to draw a clarifier for that card. And once again, we've got wealthy man. So maybe you're involved with a man who has money. Or maybe you're the one that has money or maybe, you know, take what resonates. Maybe you're a man watching this and you're the one that has the money. There has something to do with a wealthy man. Um, you know, we have that great um, fortune. Uh, we have this wealthy man card. Um, and, you know, with money, it seems like sometimes like the whole world is, you know, disposable to you. I mean, you know, you're... You don't have any financial worries or concerns. You know, you can travel and see the world. Um, you know, and I do feel like, you know, you have been traveling. You have been seeing places. Um, with this world card. But money doesn't always make two people happy. I mean, you know, look at these cards. Money doesn't always make people happy. And so, you know, it, it's about getting back to the basics. Um, we have the hermit. So, I feel like someone's having an affair. Um, basically, for the simple fact that we have all this conflict going on. So I feel like this person, and I feel like it's the man in this relationship, is left out. Um, and that in order to find happiness, she's looked elsewhere. And so she has, you know, you know, this third party situation is, you know, on her end. Because I really feel like this is a situation with the, with the feminine, with the feminine energy of seeking companionship elsewhere. Um, possibly because maybe um, this person here is working a lot um, and doesn't have time. And then when you do get together, it's a lot of argument. Um, and, you know, a lot of times the arguments start after that third party gets involved. Because it's like subconsciously you start looking for reasons. Um, you want it to be the other person's fault, you know? Like, okay, I'll, I'll find some kind of reason, you know, to justify all this. You know, I, I've been there, done that, no, ju no judgment whatsoever. Um, but it seems like, you know, with this card here, with the world card, um, that there is going to need to be some communication, some honesty, some truth. Because we have natural, we have authentic, real, and organic. So yes, I do feel like, you know, the time has come to um, really be authentic um, and really communicate in a way um, that's real. Really kind of come clean with everything. We have the Six of Pentacles. So there is a lot of lust and a lot of passion um, for this feminine energy. Um, it's almost like um, once she pulled her attention, her affections away um, from this main male, uh, this wealthy man, that he became more interested and more intrigued. It's like she became more interesting to him um, and he's watching on. 
you know um humans are funny funny creatures they want what they can't have and men are especially like this for the simple fact that men are hunters by nature so they really like that hunt they really like that challenge all right we have released the x the time has come to clear your energy so um this person here can even be um an axe that she's reconnected with um i know she's she's being watched i mean this can be the x or this could be you know the the person the current person but you know there's a lot of passion and lust towards her um it says release the your ax the time has come to clear your energy so with this release the ax card if you've been trying to decide you know who to let go of the ax or the current partner i would say this this here means to you know release the ax at least release the attachment to them um you know that attachment that addiction that obsessive energy at least release that and then you'll be able to attract from a place of love instead of fear all right we have uh, the ace of swords and we have some bondage going on here some i'm gonna see what this rune says we got this rune here because that is that clarifier. And I need to grab my phone. Hold on. Shoot. Sorry, I have my room charging, my phone charging in the other room. All right, so we have number four. Anne Seuss represents an estuary. It symbolizes the mouth, communication, understanding, and inspiration. So, yes. Um, when I was talking about being real and natural and organic and communicating, this is the rune of communication. So that does make sense. Um, although I don't know how much communicating they're doing in this picture. <laughs> but it's like this transfer of power, though. Um, of balancing out of power of her being, you know, equal to him as far as um, this connection goes. All right, we have the world again. Like, isn't this the second time we've had world? Yes, it is. So we've got the world twice now, two different cards. Clarified by solar plexus chakra. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. So, and basically with this world energy, um, you know, and, and this is really an ascension topic. Um, I realize that a, not everybody that watches um, tarot readings is on an ascension path although I do feel like you have to be somewhat enlightened to believe in this to begin with but some people are just here to find out what's going on with their ex or their current partner or whatever else and I'm not taking away from that I watch those type videos myself um, but ascension wise um, I feel like you know especially with this card talking about being part of the whole um, with this world is understanding um, the fact that we are all connected and that we all are one um, we are all parts of the whole I mean not that you know we're incomplete because um, we're all connected consciously you know by the same consciousness um, I feel like that is one interpretation and I'm going to draw another one of these cards
clarify the world cards, please. The world cards. <clears throat> also have an image of like an eclipse too. And I know that, you know, we were in eclipse season. Um, we have courtship and we have autumn. Um, in the autumn, it says in the fall season, everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. So basically, I feel like there's a lot going on behind the scenes. There's a lot going on in the spirit world as far as making things in a putting things into alignment for you so that everything falls into place. Um, like with this courtship card. I feel like this is really taking your time, getting to know each other on a very deep soul level. Um, taking your time, not rushing into anything because by autumn, basically, um, this relationship, this current relationship, um, if you stay in this, or, you know, this could be, you know, if you choose a different path, whichever partner this is, um, this is going to, um, ascend is going to elevate to the next level of intimacy, the next level of like commitment, so to speak, um, by this fall. So I do feel like this summer you are going to really have a lot of experiences together, um, possibly see the world together, um, do a lot of traveling, um, you know, and you have this very positive room too, um, letting you know that communication is necessary. I do feel like even if you choose to stay with this current partner and really communicate, um, kind of come clean and have this fresh start, um, then you will have these things here. I'm going to pull one more romance angel card. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So yes, this is what I was talking about, you know, with the world card as far as those illusions of not seeing the whole picture because there's things going on um, in the spirit realm. You know, it's like they are rooting for you. They're rearranging things, moving things around, fixing things so that you can have your highest possible, possible outcome, uh, whatever your hopes, um, your heart's desire is, so to speak. So, all right. Well, uh, Leo, this is your um, reading. Um, this is a collective reading. If you'd like to have a personal reading, I'll include my email address in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.